Thank you so much for inviting me all the way over here to Columbia, Missouri. Missouri. Oh, that's why you're like, maybe I can come there right after this last client. Say your full name, your age, and what you were diagnosed with. Kurt Kirtley, age 59. I was diagnosed with some the symptom mm -hmm. neurological. <laughs> neurodegenerative. Neurodegenerative disease. Disease, but you didn't make any specific diagnosis. What was the name of the neurologist that actually came to that, that point? Dr. Goebel. Goebel. Uh huh. When did your very first symptom begin? Well, I think it all relates back to the sports accident in 1974 in terms of early 2011. So, 1974, you had an accident on the football field where you damaged your neck. Correct. Exactly what happened? Tell me what you experienced. I was running in a play. I got hit, I went in the air, I came down from my head, I think about everybody else was on top of my head. On top of you, ooh. You know, I experienced numbness and tingling at the time, I never had any other treatment after that. Then it came back again. Okay. So what did you, what was the first sensation or symptom that you had when it came back again? Pain in my neck. It started to bend or turn or twist or pain. Yeah. Did you get any of that tingling in your arm again? No. You didn't. So then, how long ago was that that you felt that? 2011. Now, apart from the neck pain, how long did you have that before you got other symptoms? Because you said, well, Julie said to me that you're the trembling. Yeah. That's just been the last year. And fairly recently. So, how you stoop forward like that, are you doing that because it's less painful on, in your neck? Or is there any reason that you're doing that? Or that it's just that's just developed. That's just developed. All right. Don't I don't forget know who that it's with. left right swagger. But but let it happen naturally. Don't force it too much. Okay. Okay. I see. Yeah. Tomorrow. Uh, when your left leg goes forward, okay, there's a right. delay okay. before your right arm goes forward as well because. Yeah, your yeah, right arm actually comes forward because when your left leg goes forward, you're actually turning your body and that makes the right arm. So it's... So it follows, it doesn't, okay. It follows, yeah. Uh, what did you do? Okay, now, yeah, your arms, your arms are beating your, arm arm your legs. Okay, watch me. In our mind we've got what's called mirror neurons. When you see someone doing something and you try to do it yourself, it comes easier. My head's going up and down as well because I'm I'm actually it's a, like a a little bounce that you do as well. But but relax. Don't force it. Now you're getting it again. Yeah, that was great. It's really natural. Yeah, relax.
No, I just can't thank you enough, honestly, um, for what you've done for us. And, you know, you coming here to our house, you basically, like, really taught us how to live. Right. Like, to really live. Right. And not just holding your breath or going from one obligation to the next. Yep. Um, you know, I think Kurt and I tend to be, like, really task-oriented and... Or, You're very driven. Yeah, yeah, and focusing on solving problems and and so you taught us how to like learn to relax and enjoy life and enjoy people and yep. and and deal with stress better too. And right? handle stress, yeah, yeah, and and how to deal with uh, you know some of the dysfunctional family and. Friends, yeah, yeah. situations, communication skills, right, yeah, communication right. skills, and just learning to look at the underlying reasons for people, you know, saying and doing the things that they say and do. Yep. And then, you know, and honestly, like every penny we paid you, you are so well worth it. Honestly, <laughs> you were worth double what we paid you. Easy. Thank you. Easy. Thank you very much. Just you coming here and living with us for a week and just so knowledgeable. Thank you. <clears throat> Anybody that needs help, I mean, you need to hire Noel. <laughs> and if you're fortunate enough to get him to come to your home so he can see, you know, your home environment, your work environment, you know, he's able to go into my husband's office and see that his, you know, positioning and his chair and the computer monitor was not and really causing problems that led to what looks like Parkinson's disease. Yeah. And um, he had the shake already. Uh -huh, he had the shake and the shuffle and the stooped posture and yep. his arms not moving at all. I mean, really very, very terrifying, uh, scary symptoms that, you know, yeah. very close to being labeled as Parkinson's. Yep. And I know there's probably a lot of people that have been labeled with that and all they need is Noel to come Stay with them or go to him, whatever works, and teach teach you how to how to get those uh, muscles working and the vertebra right and yep. just everything. Get learn the to mind right. Get your yeah, get your mind right, learn to relax. Yep. Everything affects our health. We we think a really <coughs> negative thought for any length of time, it releases negative effect hormones into our system to do something that's not good. And a lot of people who have digestive problems and back pain, and it's often caused through a psychosomatic response of a problem in the family or a problem at work not getting on with the boss. It all has an influence. So I'm glad you guys were quick learners and you and you got that, that message through it all. It was good. So <laughs> Thank you. I will not forget working with you guys. It's been a really good experience for me too. Yeah, well, we just love you. Our whole well, family loves you. I, I love I'm you so guys. So thankful and grateful right. to God and you for yeah, what you. you what you've done. And well, I just want to say, if you are scared, I mean, I literally uh, got on the internet and found all of the symptoms. I put all the symptoms my husband was having and put it in the search and Parkinson's disease came up and he had like 9 out of 12 of the symptoms and then I started reading about you know what happens and the progression and and actually I mean it was terrifying I did not sleep that night I stayed up all night praying and just beside myself so um, I just started researching and that's how I found Noel but I just wanted to be sh I just wanted to encourage you that no matter what your situation, you know, MS, Parkinson's, if you're, if you have any kind of tremor issue, right. uh, any kind of postural where you can't stand up straight, uh, I mean, I know Noel will request that you send some x-rays to make sure that, you know, he feels like he can help you, but if he says he can help you, I just don't want you to be afraid because you have nothing to lose, you will have major improvement if not complete reversal in most cases I mean right. it is just amazing and it's not something you're ever going to get from a drug right 
uh, or any or any kind of surgery surgery would not have fixed what was going on with my husband no. it would not at all have helped him in fact it would have made him worse and he could have died undergoing surgery or been paralyzed from neck surgery and he had a, a football injury uh, to his neck where he almost uh, broke his neck it, it's a severe yeah. severe uh, yeah. disc degeneration and but you know what? He is walking normally, which our whole family is amazed and thrilled and so thankful. So I just, I just want to encourage you because I know that you know the rest of my family, especially, was a little skeptical. But I mean, really, Noel was our only hope, and uh, so we took that we thought was kind of a gamble. I did a lot of research and read his books. If you do that, you're going to get the scientific information that you need in order to feel comfortable. Right. And you're going to be able to see the videos of people, people like us. They're that real. That he, they're real, aren't they're they? They're real. Yeah. Uh, people like us uh, that he's worked with, and you can be well too. So God bless you, and don't be afraid. Well, I was just telling Noel that um, I asked my husband, okay, so do you feel like Noel was able to, do you feel like he's really helping you? And what he said to me that I just had no idea that he felt this way, he said that he felt like he was in a pit and that Noel pulled him out of it. And I had no idea that he felt that way because he was busy working every day taking care of me and our family and yeah so he was just carrying that inside and feeling that way so anyway I have my husband back it's great <laughs> thank you Noel